So let's talk yeah, a little we bit about right growth. Eldad, you said in the in the press release, and we'll quote, 2002 was start on a record pace. And management is confident that we'll be able to continue to increase our growth. Kittles continues to expand the number of markets which we operate and the number of products we can monetize. Your Q4, guys, points to that. Um, because if you do a deep dive, you look at it, your Q4 was $5.88 million in revenue. That made up 47% uh, of the year. And your EBITDA, of uh, the, the Q4 EBITDA of $1.35 million made up about 90%. So is Q4 kind of a harbinger as to the kind of momentum? Because, you know, full 2021 includes Q1, 2, and 3, which were great. Right. But it seems like Q4 is really showing us where you guys are going. Is that we know, an accurate we assessment know, to make? Yeah. I mean, we know that Q4 is a beast and it, it's just all hands on deck. Everybody is firing for, you know, all 90 days of that quarter. But what we are really trying to do this year is not only position ourselves for another record Q4, but to lift Qs one, two, and three up even more than we've seen in the past. And so a lot of that comes in through the performance campaigns that we're running, because these are not seasonal type of campaigns. These are year round. And so that gives us a new foundation of revenues to build our, our media business on top of. And so as we kind of raise the tide, we're setting ourselves a new bar for each quarter and that impacts the rate of growth that we can hit and will impact the total number that we're going to hit for 2022. So it's kind of like a combination where we're working on everything we can do to enhance the traditional media business that has been like going so well for us and then leveling up new products that, to give us a new base and new foundation to do even better upon. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.